We're on to semifinal number two, the winner to take on Ryan Schaefer, who is victorious 204 to 158. And it is a legendary battle. Two great friends, Norm Duke versus Walter Ray Williams Jr. Norm will go first, and this is his first televised appearance of the season. He's been battling injuries and a sickness pretty much all season. I asked him, you know, how do you describe the season? He goes, it hasn't even been one. And I bowled the first three tournaments of the year, healthy zero since then. This week, battling an illness. It's been getting better, but it kicked back in this morning, he was telling me. They're not going. And they're not saying movers. That's how we like to start. Thank you, Norm. That's and welcome back to TV. That's Duke, Duke, Duke. He's just running on pure adrenaline right now. Walter Ray Williams Jr. looking for his record tying eighth career major. Uh oh. Remember last week on television, title match against Mike Scroggins, Walter Ray got zero breaks on television. Yeah, this shot's high, but remember the last match, Ryan Schaefer was tripping out the 4 7 10, and right here, Walter Ray leaves it, and he's like, You gotta be kidding me. Schaefer may have taken all those breaks to the back room with him right now. Well, he went for it, and that's okay to do early on. He just loses one pin and count, no big deal. Norm Duke from Claremont, Florida, just a couple miles down the road from you, partner, and Walter Ray Williams Jr. from Ocala. There will be a Sunshine Stater in the final today. Yeah, Walter Ray about an hour straight up the turnpike. So Walter Ray, an open frame, eight in the first. Here he is in the second. That is more like it. Remember, I told you at the start of this telecast that Walter Ray and Norm Duke, you could probably see them trying to play the outside part of the lane. Norm Duke was mirroring what Walter did in practice. He said, I'm just going to stay just a pinch left of Walter Ray. I'm going to take his hold area away. I'm going to burn up a nice spot for myself. Let's I, see how it plays out. I asked Norm yesterday, what if you don't make the exemption cut? And he said, it's not an option. It is not an option to not make it. I will not build plans around failure. to back jacks for the Duke. Battling injuries, illnesses, it looks like this morning, not only is he feeling ill from what appears to be bronchitis, some type of viral infection, but it also looks like he has a stiff neck again this morning. He battled that a couple of weeks back. He's been going to chiropractors like, like it's been going out of style, just trying to get himself healthy to give himself a fighting chance to keep his tour card. I was at the chiropractor Tuesday and Wednesday this week. Also battling a nasty left calf injury. What injury? He's a bad mammal. A bad mammal. He said, though, that he managed himself incorrectly. Should have stayed off the lanes a little bit longer. So eager to get back. He's like, ah, you know, I think I'm back. I think I feel good. And then maybe a day or two later, the calf injury would kick back in again. He said, I really should have just walked away for a while. Here's Walter Ray Williams. Junior, the seventh championship round of the season. Two times a winner, two times a runner-up. What have you done with the real Walter Ray? Back okay, to fine. back. Four seven tens on the right lane. Wow. And so far, Norm Duke's plan is working to perfection. Walter Ray thinks this is a good shot, but Norm Duke's playing out there as well, and that part of the lane's drying up a lot faster. Walter is anticipating. Second open frame eight of the first three rounds. Unbelievable. Down 46. Now sitting here, it looks like all Walter Ray has to do is just parallel left meaning move his feet a couple of boards to the left, move his target a couple of boards to the left, and get a little bit left of where Norm is. But it's hard to second guess the greatest player in the world. And 
I mean, he knows what he's doing. But you got two guys playing the same part of the lane. One guy's going high, the other one's going high flush. Just move a little bit left of him. Duke with a 46 pin lead has started off with three consecutive strikes. Now looking for our first ham bone <laughs> of the afternoon. <laughs> Tape, please. Well, and you hear Norm asking for tape. This is this is not something new for him. No, and, and Norm, he uh, he likes to get a certain feel. He's very particular, very meticulous with the tape in his thumb hole. And Norm's one of the few players out here that doesn't switch to a plastic bowling ball to shoot his spares. He uses the same ball that he uses on a strike ball. Bad break on a three bagger, leaving the four nine. Okay, buddy. Right now, all Norm Duke sure. wants to do is stay clean. Let's see if he can slide the four into the nine. Never mind. I heard a couple of sniffles there as well in yeah, his follow through. And interesting that Norm used that bowling ball to shoot that yeah. spare with. It's not a spare ball, it's not a plastic ball, but yet it's not the ball he's using on a strike ball. His road to making the championship round, defeated Chris Loeschetter, four zip. Beat some pretty big names there, including defending champion Doug Kent. Leaves the 10, we asked him about the lanes here, and it was interesting, Randy, I thought he said, this building is 10 times Same more again. important than the oil pattern that they put on these 80 lanes. You know, so many different parts of the lanes that play different. You really have to learn this building, but once you do, it becomes consistent, and those oil patterns mean almost nothing. Yeah, it certainly helps to have experience in an 80-lane center. And there's Walter Ray looking on and staring at an early hole he has dug himself. <sighs> You've been around Norm Duke the last 24 hours. You feel like you need to be carrying a can of Lysol. Oh. Norm could use a little triage center back in the uh, locker room to kind of help take care of all of his injuries. Good thing we had him mic'd sound full for the blowing of the nose. Extra audio does well. have its negatives at times. <laughs> Walter Ray, 